Mikhail Tukhashevsky Soviet authorities accused Tukhashevsky of treason, and after confessing he was executed in 1937 during Stalin's military purges of 1936 to 1938. Tukhashevsky's apparent neo-paganism was also corroborated by another prisoner at Ingolstadt, Nikolai Alexandrovich Shurikov, who recalled that he once saw a scarecrow in the corner of Tukhashevsky's cell, and upon asking him as to what it was, Tukhashevsky responded, that it was an effigy of Yurilo, which he had created during Shrovatide. According to Tukhashevsky's close confidant Leonid Sabaniev, in 1918, when he was in the service of the military department of the All-Russian Central Executive Committee, in his last overt display of neopaganism, Tukhashevsky drew up a project for destruction of Christianity and restoration of Slavic paganism. According to Montefiore, a few days later, as Nikolai Yejov buzzed in and out of Stalin's office, a broken Tukhashevsky confessed that a Volyanukids had recruited him in 1928 and that he was a German agent in cahoots with Nikolai Bukharin to seize power. Tukhashevsky's confession, which survives in the archives, is dappled with a brown spray that was later found to be blood spattered by a body in motion. Stalin commented it's incredible, but it's a fact, they admit it. On the 11th of June, 1937, the Soviet Supreme Court convened a special military tribunal to try Tukhashevsky and eight generals for treason. The trial was dubbed the case of Trotskyist anti-Soviet military organization. Upon hearing the accusations, Tukhashevsky was heard to say I feel I'm dreaming. Within the hour, Tukhashevsky was summoned from his cell by NKVD Captain Vasily Blokhin. As Yejov watched, the former marshal was shot once in the back of the head. Immediately afterward, Yejov was summoned into Stalin's presence. Stalin asked what were Tukhashevsky's last words. Yejov responded, the snake said he was dedicated to the motherland and comrade Stalin. Conquest's thesis of an SS conspiracy to frame Tukhashevsky was based upon the memoirs of Walter Schellenberg and Bean. In 1989, the Politburo of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union announced that new evidence had been found in Stalin's archives indicating German intelligence's intentions to fabricate disinformation about Tukhashevsky with the goal of eliminating him. At Yejov's order, the NKVD had instructed a known double agent, Nikolai Skoblin, to leak to Heydricha's Sicherheitsdienst concocted information suggesting a plot by Tukhashevsky and the other Soviet generals against Stalin. Montefiore, who has conducted extensive research in Soviet archives, states, Stalin needed neither Nazi disinformation nor mysterious Okrana files to persuade him to destroy Tukhashevsky. Ultimately, five of the eight generals who presided over Tukhashevsky's trial were arrested and shot by the NKVD. According to Montefiore, Stalin's close friend and confidant Kiganovic later joked, Tukhashevsky hid Napoleon's baton in his rucksack, F81C6767D69.